My name is Cody Shry. I graduated from the University of Pittsburgh uh, back in December, and I came here to study Chinese. Uh, I get a lot out of learning Chinese. I think uh, it'll help me in my career, just as a personal goal of mine to become fluent. And I decided to come back because I just graduated and I didn't really want to enter the work world yet because I never knew when I'd be able to come back here. So I want to take that opportunity to come back and, and uh, work on my Chinese. All my experience has been classroom based and um, I just never got the attention I wanted to. So I was really looking for a one-on-one -on -one program as opposed to sitting in a classroom. Something that I would, if I was going to come here and, you know, take the opportunity to learn Chinese as opposed to work. I wanted to get my full time's worth out of it. Mm -hmm. Really my motivation for learning Chinese is about, is more a personal goal, but when I first started it was for, for you know, for a career. Um, this time, you know, I had all that Chinese experience on my resume and I wanted to be able to back that up if I ever happened to come across an interview or something they asked me or want to test out my language skills. I wanted to make sure I did have a solid foundation. I got exactly what I wanted. I wanted to correct a lot of my basic problems, uh, such as like using just simple things like the directional verbs or stuff like that. And, um, and I think the biggest thing is when you're in the classroom, you don't get much chance to speak. And with this program, I was allowed to speak more. And that was by far my worst aspect was my, my spoken. And so this I had a lot more opportunity because there's no one else to talk over me. When I first started, um, I liked, liked my classes. I didn't really like the book I was using. In fact, I hated it. It was, it was really boring. And I didn't necessarily, like, I wasn't speaking enough. Um, so I just told my teacher, hey, one, I can't do this book. Two, I need to speak more. And, you know, the next day they changed. And ever since then, like, you know, my classes were great. Um, so I was, I was really appreciative that they were listened to me and actually took into account, like, my concerns. The nicest accommodations I stayed in China. Like, I mean, I've stayed in probably some of the worst you could stay in, so. Like, this is closest to Western standards that I've been staying in. Uh, some of the better classes I remember were not even ones where you'd sit down and read a book, but is when, like, I was really starting to gain confidence in my Chinese, and we would just sit there and just talk um, just about our weekend or what we what we did and just stuff like that. And we'd just get on brands. And for me, that was the best time because that's what I want to do. I want to practice conversation. And I didn't go on all the trips, but I went on a few of them. I went to the Great Wall, I went to the Hutong tour, and those were good. Yeah, definitely. I think you guys met my expectations. Okay.